in my country, 16 women die every day on average. If you don't deal with the gender justice issues, you're only dealing with 50% of the problem. You still have to go back and deal with the other half. It's critical for women to participate in development. And they cannot really participate in development when they have all these things working against them. Where woman is informed, formally or informally, she starts improving the family's life. Women are tremendous agents of change. Oxfam en realidad es una de las pocas este, organizaciones internacionales que todavía financia lo que nosotros llamamos el movimiento de mujeres. Oxfam has been working with powerful women from the south who are able to bring together the voices of the poor women to champion issues of education and health for all. Oxfam nos apoya directamente en el programa de en este programa de empoderamiento y es donde el cual nos permite que las mujeres realmente puedan defender sus derechos. My organization is Mustasa Project. We've gone out to the communities with them. They have supported us, given us that skill and expertise to be able to engage communities on issues that have to do with the constitution, issues that affect women, and issues that make a difference to the life of the woman. Bueno, el trabajo que Oxfam, bueno, el apoyo que Oxfam nos ha dado a, a la Alianza de Mujeres Rurales ha sido justamente por, por lograr que las mujeres nos empoderemos de nuestros derechos, que conozcamos nuestros derechos como mujeres rurales, mayas y campesinas. Ya que en nuestra cultura machista, eh, el hombre siempre es el que violenta, el que domina, el que controla, pero en este caso no, nosotros los hombres estamos tratando de cambiar y a juntar más hombres que se promuevan. It's all things we've heard before, but when it's first-hand experience from someone who's living it and is working so hard to change it, it can only galvanize us to work harder. When I have seen, for example, in the climate change meetings, Oxfam's campaigns and the way of approaching it, it's like a breath of fresh air. Je savais que Oxfam avait une longue histoire, mais de voir, de sentir cette histoire, de rencontrer les partenaires, de parler avec les gens d'Amérique latine, d'Asie, d'Afrique, et de voir que le travail d'Oxfam les touche directement est vraiment quelque chose d'impressionnant. I feel like I'm in a million different places at once because there's so many different ideas coming to me and there's information exchange that's constantly going on while I'm at this summit. Historically, every single study has shown us that wherever a woman is given an opportunity to improve her life, automatically the family's life is improving. Our own leaders have made promises to put 15% of their resources for, for, for health, for example and 20% for education. Whether that is done or not, it is something that we need organizations like Oxfam to continue checking, evaluating, and pushing to make sure that this is achieved. Basically the idea that we can actually make a change. We want to do something, we want to scream, we want to be heard. Every person, every human being has something good to offer in. Oxfam is a place where you can actually put in practice all those things. I look at the number of youth that are involved in Oxfam and what they're doing and what they bring to the table and how brilliant they are, how energetic they are, and I just think they're going to fix this thing.